come and discover the warmth and hospitality of Morris, home of the thrilling Manitoba Stampede. Nestled as the central hub on Highway 75, Morris is more than a town. It's a thriving nexus of business and community with new industrial opportunities ready to break ground. Join us and make Morris your next investment. A co-op is not a building. It's not a gas bar, a home center, or a food store. A co-op is a group of people working together to help each other. To feed, to fuel, to build community. This is where we work, this is where we live, this is who we are. We are early risers, we are trusted neighbours, we are committed to serving you. We are Co-op. Paul Brandt Trucking, a chance meeting years ago that turned into an incredible friendship. Turns out we have the same name. Now that's something that doesn't happen every day. But as I've had the opportunity to work with this exceptional award-winning company, I've come to understand that there is something that happens every day with Morris Manitoba's Paul Brandt Trucking. They deliver quality. Paul Brandt Trucking has helped me to do business better. My trucking company of choice since they first appeared in the Convoy video, their world-class fleet and personnel literally keep the show on the road, delivering our gear and stage production each and every night. Congratulations. Congratulations, Paul Brandt Trucking, on 50 years of traditional values, modern methods, and for service with excellence on every single run. We'll catch you on the flip-flop. Bye-bye. Saving for your child's education doesn't need to be stressful. Access offers a wide range of investment options to help you and your family's future, like a registered education savings plan. With the flexibility to deposit any time throughout the year, you decide when and how much to contribute, making it easy to save for your child's education. Contact us today to start your savings plan so you can spend more time celebrating your child's future. Access Credit Union, where you need us to be. Welcome back, hockey fans. I'm your host, Bentley Brandt, with you, along with my cameraman, Josh Check, as we get ready for game number three. I'll be underway here shortly from the Morris Multiplex on this nice Saturday evening. It's the Twisters leading the semifinals here against the St. Boniface Reals. Two games to one, winning both three to one. The last game, game two there on in St. Boniface was a really great game for 26 for the Twisters, Kyle Van Dines, and he ended off the night. He had two goals, and including a big hit in that one. And he leads the Twisters with goals in the postseason with three. And with that, we will look at 
Your leaders coming into this one, Merrick DeGrave leading the Twisters overall in points with seven points, five assists, two goals. And then Hepner and Carroll's right behind him. And Hepner, of course, the big overtime winner in the series. Uh, and what really swung their series against the Seven Oaks Raiders Hockey Club. And of course, Carroll's there, he has five assists. And meanwhile, you look at St. Boniface, seven points for their leader. And Nate Hines, four goals and three assists. Two goals and four assists for Davis, who's right behind him with six, as well as McNaughton with five goals and assists. And right with them also with six points. Shortly behind them is Aaron Davis. And both those guys had a great night. And getting the start tonight for the Penn Valley Twisters. And he has four wins here in the postseason. With a save percentage of 933, a goals against average of just under a one and a half goals against per game. Meanwhile, Howarth getting the start in net for the St. Boniface Reals comes in here with four and four in the postseason with a save percentage of 935 and a goals against average of 1.9. And here's the standings here as we look. That Canucks game going on right now. That's starting same time as us. Puck drops moments away in that one as they try to knock off the Hawks and start the regular or the postseason off a perfect 8-0. Meanwhile, the Twisters trying to really push it to the Reals in this one and put them into the must-win situation. And they'll try and take a 3 nothing lead. Well, the Reals will try and battle back and make somewhat of a series out of this one. Try and get something going in this one. Both games, 3-1, like I said, have been really close. Right down to the wire. And we hope we got another good game for you here. And here come the Twisters as Enns leads his team out onto the ice. And it should be, they said a good one here tonight as the Twisters again switching up there with the goaltenders as they continue their rotation with them, putting ends back in here for the home game. And with that, we'll be right for O'Canada and I'll be back with you shortly. Valley Twisters. Logan ends in net to start it off. And on with that for your forwards, you got Xander Carroll's out there on with Josh 
Shilford, and Cole Thomas, and on the last one of the fence back there for them, we got Jack out there with Hepner. Paul Davis out there with us up, along with Smith out there, Keating, and Renville is starting lineup for the St. Paul's Reals. And with that, we are underway here. And dangerous play in front here for the Twisters, trying to work it back. And now they'll take that off ice is Davis. Cole Davis giving chase. Dick first one back and he'll work it dangerously in front for the Reals and couldn't connect there on the loose puck. And there's a shot by Keating and that one gets gloved by Enzo and he takes a little bit of a stick action there to the glove. And a nice little tap there from the 22 of Cole Davis. So two quick shots there as the Reals come out and firing on all cylinders as the shot clock comes alive early on in this one. Off the draw, one by the Reals in the attack zone and DeGrave picks that up for the Twisters. Merrick DeGrave, he'll work that around behind the net to Jacob Carroll's and up to Weeb. Weeb, long stretch pass and Van Dines plays it into the zone. Howarth, he'll work it out of there. And that puck skips out of the zone and Trot picks it up and here comes Trot walking in. Goes to the backhand and ends as the answer. As he's been busy in this opening minute. Here shots 3-0, 59 seconds in. And as ends gets ready now here for a faceoff coming to his right. As he'll switch it out here. And Aaron Nielsen and his crew will roll on here as he gets ready to take away. And he'll win that faceoff against Bergman. And again, quickly gloved by ends. They'll do it again here on the draw. As Bergman will get set. Meanwhile, changing up the defensive pairing here. As Hira will come on to the ice. And working back to the points of Real. Shot through traffic and that one gets blocked. Behind the net. Still working with it. The Twisters now pick it up. Van Dyne still chip it to Clark. Clark to Bergman and trying to get it to Paulette. That won't go. And Nielsen. Working in the defensive zone. Hara on the near side, and that gets played in by Hines. Ends behind his net. He'll work it up on the near side for the Twisters. And bouncing puck, settled down now here by the 21 in black. Back to the point, and Hara, he'll play it across. And that shot wide of the net there. And Poet, he's able to get it out. Hara plays that one up to Hines. Hines. And he's going to turn that one over. Here come the Twisters. Walking in. Quick shot on net. Save made on that opportunity. Still working with it. And long stretch pass. And Alex Van Dynes plays that one in. To the zone. And Twisters trying to connect there on that loose puck. Picked up now here. And walking in. Crossland. Here comes in. And he can't find the puck there. And the Twisters are able to get it right back out of the zone. And we got a stoppage in play here. And they are ready now here. Down for the drop of the biscuit. And both top lines back out there. Quick shot off the draw and another save by Enns. Working on the near side, back to the point. Back and off to his shot, save made, rebound there for Davis and now picked up by the other 22 trying to get it out and I'll sip a hold at the line. Pucking around behind the net and jamming at it. And the Twisters are able to not get it out of the zone as they'll slip kicks it ahead, and now they will. And that gets cleared all the way down by Guilford. Icing waved off. 
Cohen Thomas now. He'll play behind the net for Xander Carroll's off his stick. I'll get picked up here on the near side and played ahead by the Reals into the zone as Smith plays it in. And Slobberzan applying some pressure as Guilford. He'll skate up the center of the ice with the puck on his stick. Goes through traffic and he's able to play it into the zone. Keaton now behind his net. He'll work it across land. And Dick plays it right back in for the Twisters. Around behind the net to Grave giving chase against Renville. And that puck picked up by the Twisters in tight. And that skips over the net off the glass. Twisters now on the near side trying to work with it. Picked up by the Reals. Crossland. Now he'll play it across to Vitali. Vitali plays it into the zone before going for a change as well as Crossland. Long stretch pass intercepted by Keating. And now played right back in by Jolker for the Twisters. Picked up now by DeGrave. DeGrave with the puck on his stick now here in the attack zone. He'll work it back to the point for Van Dynes and his shot. Didn't have enough to get through. Traffic into the slot. There's a shot by the Twisters. Jamming it loose. And holding on for a whistle is Holworth. And here's a look at that replay as the Twisters finally get some offensive action as they're down the shot clock 5-1. to one. Sutherland, he'll skate in off the draw and working it around is the Reals and the Reals able to get it out of the zone. Jacob Carrolls, he'll scoop that one up and he'll pass it across. Coming out of their own zone now, back to Carrolls. And off a couple sticks that got tangled up with the referee is Kyle Van Dynes. Puck comes into the zone, picked up by Alex Van Dynes. Alex Van Dynes, he goes right past one guy, just put it wide of the net. Nice move there to get past the defense. And again, Van Dynes giving chase. Alex Van Dynes, he'll knock that one out of the reach there of Connor Davis. Long stretch pass. And glove down played ahead by the Reals. Brzezinski giving chase. Sutherland, though, he'll pick up that puck. He'll get knocked off by Hira, and him and Hira go to the ground. Continue on. Russell walks in, fires, kicked into the corner. Right to Sutherland. Back to Poet. Poet. He'll fire that one, and that's deflected just wide off the stick of Brzezinski. And Davis. He'll turn, fire that, trying to get to Hines. That's intercepted by a twister. Hira picks up the puck at his own blue line, and he'll work that. Rials had to be careful there on the change, going through traffic. As they walk into the zone, across to Hines, Hines walks in, fires, and Enns has the answer for that one, trying to go 5 all And Nate Hines, the leading scorer there for the Reals, had a great opportunity there to find the back of the net. Waited a little bit too long, and Enns had just enough time to get in there and make the stop. Off the draw, Hepner gets it out of the zone, glove down by Hines, he gets knocked off the puck. And that comes into the skates of Mike Hepner. Hepner now, he'll control that one and play that across. And now out off the stick of Poet and bouncing into the zone. Holworth plays it behind his net for Alsip. And he'll work that one. That doesn't get out. Hepner holds it in. Clark knocked off the puck and now controlled by Hines. Hines, his own zone, long stretch pass for Nate Hines. And that won't go to Brzezinski. Comes in behind the net where Hepner works it out. And here come the twisters. And a little bit of an air pass there by Clark. Can't get to Guilford. And now Guilford breaking that one up there on the opportunity trying to get it out was the Reals. Now Dick will scoop that one up and play it in. Keating now with the puck on his stick. Keating to Hines. Long stretch pass. Reals now working out of the defensive zone. And won't get fast. Won't get far into the twister zone as the twister scoop it up off the stick of Guilford. Picked up by the Reals. Reals now working around. And that puck's going to get picked up by Van Dynes. Back to Cohen Thomas. Cohen Thomas into the zone along with Carrolls. Thomas, who spins past one man. And hit that hit will knock him off the puck. Keating now working with it in the no corner boards. Still jamming at it down there. And Renville scoops it up. And the Reals are able to clear this one out into the zone. And Smith misplays that one. And here comes Carrolls. Carrolls. Into the zone, Xander Carroll's behind the net. He overskates that one. Renville picks it up again for the Reals, and Carroll's gets taken down. We have a penalty coming up here to the St. Boniface. Reals on a trip. 
12.44 on the clock, and the Twisters get their power play rolling here. And there's the penalty draw, and chasing behind. Carroll's hits the ice, and Twisters get a power play. Twister's power play percentage coming into this one at a measly 12%. 86.7 is the penalty kill for the Reals here in the playoffs. Twister's working with it. Back to the line. Russell plays it across. Now down low for the Twister's. And misplaying that one is Weeb. Weeb now he'll play it in. Twister's still controlling here on the man advantage to Jacob Carroll's. Carroll's he'll get that one across to DeGrave. Down to Weeb, Weeb to DeGrave. DeGrave to Carroll's and off his stick. Still working with it now. As the Twister's down low, skipping dangerously in front off a couple of sticks. And the Reals get their stick on it and clear that all the way down the ice. Two shots on the mat, or one shot on the mat van so far for the Twisters. They got a minute 15 and counting. As they take it out of the zone, up to Riley Gertzen. Gertzen walks into the zone, looks. Plays it around behind the net to DeGrave. DeGrave off his stick. Now back to the point. And all the way across to Jacob Carroll's. Right back now to Russell. Kalen Russell across to Carroll's. Jacob Carroll's shot through traffic. Loose, jamming at it. And Howell holds on for the save is whole worth. So a great opportunity there for the Twisters on the man advantage. But with the scrum down low. Holworth holds on for a whistle. 50 seconds remaining on the man advantage. 11.35 here in the first period of this 0-0 hockey game. Bergman in on the draw against Brzezinski. Beats him back to the point to Kyle Van Dines. Van Dines had a hot stick last night. See if he'll have one again. And ripping that one off the crossbars, Mike Hepner. Across to Van Dines. This shot through traffic, and that gets blocked by Trout. And uh, looks like Renville, he lost his stick. Continues, though, to play physical down low with the body. As they work it back to Kyle Van Dines, and across, playing into that loose stick there of Renville's, the Twisters, and that's going to get picked off by the Reals. Iced all the way down to ends. Davis right on him. He'll skip that up. The near side to Hepner and all the way across to the far side into the zone come the Twisters. Playing that in on that, Horth plays it into the corner boards again. By that loose stick there as Xander Kills gets knocked off the puck. Power play has expired for the Twisters. Total of three shots on the man advantage. Bouncing puck. And there's a quick shot in on Nez. A real blue is tired. Stepping on that loose stick there of Renville. And now picked up by the Reals. They'll work it other zone. It's McNaughton all the way up to Hines. Hines walks in. Nate Hines shot using Hepner as a screen and a save made on that one by Enns. And Reals another quick shot through traffic. Davis now back to the point. And that shot through traffic gloved and held on by Enns at 10.06 on the clock. Shots are 7-4 to four in favor of the Reals as they just kicked killed off that Twister's opening power play. Aaron Nielsen in for the draw. Taking on Merrick DeGrave as they refs finish chatting it up and they're ready for the draw. Loose puck and the Twister's pick it up in the defensive zone on the near side. Hyra plays that in before taking a hard hit by Jolliker down low. Hines into the zone and he gets pickpocketed and Jolliker now to Weeb. Here come the Twisters. Weeb into the zone. Tries to do a nice toe drag and staying right with them is a great play there by the 22 of Cole Davis. Shutting Weeb's scoring opportunity down. Real's trying to play it around at the line and Nielsen will play it in. Twisters coming out behind their own net. They go dangerously Right through the center of the ice comes Weeb. Weeb walks in. He's got Jolker into Grave. And he'll miss place that one. Al Slip gets it out of there. Played right back in by Wood. And DeGrave will go for a change. Same with Weeb. As the Reals work it out of the defensive zone to Nate Hines. Hines waits as a rig net line before playing across ice. And into the zone comes St. Boniface. St. Boniface, quick shot there. 
and off the blocker of ends and into the netting at 9.03. And both teams changing their lines up here. Well, just the defensive pairing there as Alsip comes in on the draw against DeGrave. DeGrave wins that one. Depolette on the near side working up to Clark. Clark into the zone. He'll play that one. Hira working it now to Davis. And we got penalty coming up here again. And Hira, he is not too happy about it. We'll see what they got. They got a slash. We'll check that out here on the replay. And there's Hara with the puck. Takes a hard hit, and it's going to be right there out of the frame of the camera. So the Twisters here again, another go at the power play. 0 for 1 with three shots. And on the tangle up off the draw. Working across to Carroll's now from Russell, and Russell, he'll transition across. Meanwhile, Twister's worked at the other side down low, and now back up across to the point for Carroll's. Carroll's walks in, puts it across to Russell, now back, and Twister's didn't shoot yet. Now he shoots it forward, and the Twister's strike first on the power play. Finding the back of the net, it's Merrick DeGrave. So a power play goal for the Twisters, and they take a 1-0 lead here to start it off. And here's a look at the replay on that one. A nice feed by Russell. I thought he was going to shoot it, but he put it back to Carroll's first and then found the back of the net. Nice move there for the Twisters. And they get it done, the power play, and it is their points leader in the postseason. And that will be his eighth point here in the postseason for Merrick DeGrave. With the goal and the assist so on that one, going to the 24 of Jacob Carroll's and the 22 of Kalen Russell. And that's Carroll's sixth assist of the playoffs. Off the draw, Carroll's plays it into the zone. Reals on the near side, and that gets tipped in off the stick of Trot. And behind the net, Twister's work it out. Bouncing puck at the line, and that's played in around behind the net. Rial's dangerously now controlling behind the Twister's goal. Now out around, across the dot there, and they lose control. It comes out of the zone as King plays it back to the point. Now off the step of King to Davis. Davis can't find it. Gertzen comes in. Davis gets it back on his stick across to Brzezinski. Brzezinski walking in, looking, waiting, circles back around the circle to Keaton. Keaton plays that cross ice. And quick shot there by the Rial's deflected just wide by Trot. Hard hit there, down low. And Brzezinski working with it. Here come the Twisters. Twisters got two. Van Dynes across to Alex. Van Dynes scores! It's Van Dynes from Van Dynes. And the Twisters are right back in this one with a two-goal lead. And they didn't stop at all from where they left off in their last game with two quick goals. So there's a quick look at that replay. And it's Kyle Van Dynes to Alex Van Dynes and into the back of the net. And the Twisters with a quick start in this one, just as they opened up that second period really quick in St. Boniface with two quick ones. And tipped it in off a couple sticks. And back now here. Controlled on the near side by DeGrave. DeGrave walking in. Here's one tonight, and oh, that's broken up off the stick there. Now back to Dick, and Dick can't hold on to it at the line. Jonathan Dick now corralling that puck. 6.54 and counting on the clock as DeGrave forks that one in. Jocker giving chase. I'll sit behind his net. He'll work it out to Vitelli. Vitelli playing it up, and DeGrave intercepts that pass. DeGrave plays it right back in. Howarth behind his net. Turned over in front, jamming at it. And Weeb couldn't find the back of the net. Great opportunity for him. And almost a quick three here for the Twisters. As Jalker plays it back at the line. Wood now working with it. He gets knocked off the puck. And that gets played back by DeGrave. Paulette. Glove down. 
And Hines, he'll work that up. Walking in now here, around behind the net. And Slobber Zion, he'll play that in on net. And the Twisters are able to get it out. Keaton goes to scoop that one up. Cross to Hines, Nate Hines working it in to the zone. McNaughton takes a hard hit. And Aaron Nielsen behind the net, he'll get rubbed out. And he collides, goes down with a couple of twisters there. And the, another penalty coming to St. Boniface. And we'll just wait here for the call of the referee. And it's going to be another tripping. Here's a look at that replay. And there's the top with Cody Clark and Ty McNaughton. And there's the trip. And didn't look like much from there that we've drawn it, but... Another, this so last two calls, what we've seen here on the replays, seem maybe a little bit weak for the St. Boniface Real's liking. As that comes all the way down behind the net on a quick kill. Twister's power play, one for two tonight. Behind the net comes Hepner. Hepner works it ahead. Into the zone. Across to Gertzen. And that gets played ahead. Played into the zone by Bergman, and the Reals clear that all the way down. Trot now all alone, dangerously. Way over his net comes Enns. And a big block there. And they wanted a penalty. The Reals, and now there is going to be a penalty on the Reals for, oh, I thought it was on the Reals for putting their hand on the puck. It's interference. We got interference here against the Twisters, against Bergman. Here's a look at that replay. And ends way out of his net to play that one. And Sutherland comes in. And that's one that can go. Talked about those before either way. On those ones, I think his momentum on that one did take him into the player. And should have been a trip there against the Twisters. But nevertheless, it is a power play opportunity. we got some four and four here as Russell plays it into the zone for rubbing off Hines. Minute remaining here, four and four. Now Russell coming into pinch against Hines, and he steals that puck from him, playing it down low. Going through traffic comes Berg. Oh, sorry, correction. There comes DeGrave. DeGrave to the point, and that shot deflected in front. Oh, then he'll hold on to freeze it. And we got some extra activity there as the linesman comes in and breaks that up in between Renville and Weeb, and that was Bergman uh, going to say before on the interference. 419 on the clock. 132 on uh, it's sorry, I thought it was Bergman, but it's on the board there. It's Gertzen. Meanwhile, 41 seconds on the Ty McNaughton penalty. As the 4-4 four four continues with Renville behind the net with the puck. Renville waits. Long stretch pass and that's picked off by Paulette. Paulette now walking in. And he'll fan on that one. Gets it right back on his stick, though. Pressure by Keaton behind the net. And that pass to Gray, or sorry, there to Carroll's won't quite go. And here come the Reals on the far side. And Davis knocked off the puck. Paulette picks it up. Ten seconds remaining here on the four on four. And the Twisters ice that one all the way down. So will be an icing. We got four and four basically to the the puck drops three seconds on the clock. Be 51 seconds of power play opportunity for the St. Boniface Reals. They will come in here. They'll get their first power play opportunity of the night. And that continues their power play 16.7%. Twister's penalty killed 95 on the dot. Off the draw power play now starting for the Reals as right onto the ice comes McNaughton. And that comes all the way down the ice. It's a quick clear for the Twisters. Twisters now able to get a fresh set of legs following the icing. And Nate Hines, he'll play that correction. Picked up by Nate Hines from the 27. Uh, backing out and now into the skates of Dick, trying to get it ahead. And McNaughton, or holding it there at the line. Here come the Twisters. It's Cohen Thomas. He'll pick that one up. Cohen Thomas walking in. 
as I was trying to find my words there. Back and not was the one there who misplaced that one at the line. As Hines' long stretch pass to Dick will pick that one off, and he'll clear that all the way down. Five seconds remaining on the man advantage. As walking into the zone, played across, and that will do it for the man advantage for St. Boniface, a rather short one. As Carroll's trying to outrace the icing, and he won't. And the Twister's trying to argue that one here. They continue to argue that with the referee there, number 87, Paul Kamat. Off the draw, Alsip wins that one into the near side. Now skating up, and Van Dines plays it into the zone. DeGrave giving chase as Keaton works it on the near side. Long stretch pass. Jalker gets knocked off the puck and picked up right away by Weeb. Derek Weeb plays it behind the net and trying to go through traffic and that gets knocked off his stick. Jalker pinning his man and the Real's trying to work it out of the zone. Two minutes to go here in the opening frame. And Smith plays that one all the way in behind the net for ends. Carroll's. And the Twisters will take it out of the zone. DeGrave walking in. Merrick DeGrave going through traffic, and that's knocked off his stick by Keating. Rials, long stretch pass, trying to find Smith again, broken up by the Twisters. And DeGrave chasing it down. Paul Kamai has his hand in there. We got a penalty here. High sticking called by the referee. And it's going to be against Smith, actually, so it's another power play. <laughs> Twisters one for three on the power play so far. This is their fourth power play of the night. Van Dyne shot through traffic just wide of the net, trying to find that rebound. And but not get, getting it out of there. Was the 27 for the Ray Reals of and 38 seconds on the clock. They're back underway here, and that gets fired all the way down the ice. Nice clear by the Reals as they go in for a change on the near side. Hepner he'll take a hard hit from Vitelli as he passes that across to Bergman. Bergman. Circles, waits, leaves it, plays it down low, and skipping off a couple sticks of Ty McNaughton. He can't get it out. Cross to Kyle Van Dines. Van Dines to Bergman, back to Van Dines. Shot through traffic, blocked and cleared. A nice play there by Vitelli. Uh, so he'll go for a change to the bench. Ty McNaughton applying some pressure here for the Reals. 45 seconds to go. Twisters, a minute left on their man advantage as they play that one into the zone. Keating. Plays it right down the ice and that hit the referee. Looked like it skipped up in the Twisters bench there. Jalker here, ready to get it underway here for the Twisters on the draw from the left of the goaltender. And that gets cleared all the way down the ice. Trot walking in. Here comes Trot through traffic, trying to draw a penalty. And Picked up by Russell, and he'll out-muscle him. Russell to Weave, and Weave plays it across for the Twisters. Twisters trying to get it out of the defensive zone. As they cycle that puck around. Long stretch pass for Carroll's, and into the zone it goes. Trying to pick that loose puck up. Bouncing puck picked up by the Reals. Reals trying to walk in. And as the seconds dwindle down, that will do it. As there's the horn. We got a 2 1 hockey game. Twisters have 17 seconds of power play opportunity. Twisters have, like I said, 17 seconds remaining power play opportunity going to the second. They lead this one by a score of 2 0. Shots after one are eight for the St. Boniface Real, seven for the Pemina Valley Twisters. And with that, we'll go over your scoring recap in this one for the opening 20 minutes. Starting it off, the Twisters. 
found themselves in hot water early with a bunch of quick opportunities by the Reals. And so he held his zone really well there in the crease and was able to do his job with that. And the Twisters is able to get some return the favor for him. And starting that off was Merrick DeGrave. He started the scoring off for the Twisters with assists from Jacob Carrolls and Kalen Russell. Alex Van Dyne, shortly after, he found the back of the net on a 2-0 with the assist on that one going to Kyle Van Dyne's. And with that, we'll quickly head and look at the out-of-town scoreboard here. And that Canucks, Hawks, big game four there. Hawks with their backed up against the wall in that one. As they're hosting the St. James Canucks. And that one is 0-0. First period just started as, correction, uh, was my bad there. I thought that was a 7 o'clock start. That is a 7.30 p.m. start. So that one it just started underway. We'll have updates for you before the start of the second period, and we will again at the second intermission. With that, I'm your host, Benny Brown, along with my cameraman, Josh Keck. We'll send you to intermission, and we'll be with you shortly after the break. Come and discover the warmth and hospitality of Morris, home of the thrilling Manitoba Stampede. Nestled as the central hub on Highway 75, Morris is more than a town. It's a thriving nexus of business and community with new industrial opportunities ready to break ground. Join us and make Morris your next investment. Co-op is not a building, it's not a gas bar, a home center, or a food store. A co-op is a group of people working together to help each other. To feed, to fuel, to build community. This is where we work, this is where we live, this is who we are. We are early risers, we are trusted neighbors, we are committed to serving you. We are Co-op. Paul Brandt Trucking. A chance meeting years ago that turned into an incredible friendship. Turns out we have the same name. Now that's something that doesn't happen every day. But as I've had the opportunity to work with this exceptional award-winning company, I've come to understand that there is something that happens every day with Morris Manitoba's Paul Brandt Trucking. They deliver quality. Paul Brandt Trucking has helped me to do business better. My trucking company of choice since they first appeared in the Convoy video, their world-class fleet and personnel literally keep the show on the road delivering our gear and stage production each and every night. Congratulations, Paul Brandt Trucking, on 50 years of traditional values, modern methods, and for service with excellence on every single run. We'll catch you on the flip-flop. Bye-bye. Saving for your child's education doesn't need to be stressful. Access offers a wide range of investment options to help you and your family's future, like a registered education savings plan. With the flexibility to deposit any time throughout the year, you decide when and how much to contribute, making it easy to save for your child's education. Contact us today to start your savings plan so you can spend more time celebrating your child's future. Access Credit Union, where you need us to be.
And we're back here, ready to be underway here shortly for the start of the second period. And a quick update there from the Canucks and the Hawks as they near the midway mark of the first period, 10.32 currently in that game. And it is the Charleswood Hawks with their backs up against the wall, up by one. And that's one nothing in that game. Scoring this one here, 2 nothing. Pemina Valley Twisters. Merrick DeGrave and Alex Van Dines, your goal scorers through the opening. 20 shots are 8-7 to seven in favor of the St. Boniface Reals. The Twisters, they have 17 seconds remaining on their power play. 1 for 3 so far on the night. Meanwhile, the Reals 0 for 1. And mind you, their power play, though, only being 51 seconds. So Twister is trying to continue on where they left off in this one and really battle back in the shots as in those final 19 minutes there they outshot the Reals by a score of seven to five. So after they got through that quick hot minute by the Reals, they were really took control of this game and they're gonna see if they can try and continue that. And here's a great play for a Jonker as he comes right into the zone with the puck on his stick, centering that one across, picked off by the Reals. Reals now trying to get it out of the zone. Hepner plays it across. Long stretch pass off the glove of Weeb and into the zone comes Trot. Trot through traffic, back to Jolker. Jolker, long stretch pass, and that comes all the way around to Weeb. Weeb walking in, back to even strength we go. It's now to Grave behind the net. He'll work it down low to Weeb. Weep through traffic, back to the point. Holding it there is the Twisters. Around behind the net. Keating now, trying to work it out. Correction there, Davis trying to work it out of the zone. And put that one to head ice. Off the stick of Trot and played in by the Twisters. Weep now, here's that puck bounced off the stick there of Holworth and that bouncing puck continuing to Make a little bit of a scrum for the puck as the Twisters are able to corral it for a second and try and play it into the zone. A slip will get it, try and get it out. Held in by Van Dines. Kyle Van Dines walks in, fires, and Oworth holds on for a whistle at 18.41. So after a little bit of some tough going for the Twisters, they got it going again. Off the draw, working around loose puck. Picked up and a couple of people there colliding. Davis round behind the net. And that comes out of the zone. And in on net for Keating. Carroll's at center ice. He plays that all the way in around Renville, he'll work that one back. And Hines deflects that one into Carroll's. Carroll's working it back, deflected ahead by Gertzen. Now back to Gertzen. Riley Gertzen walking with the puck on his stick backhand, and he'll put that one off the side of the net. Carroll's trying to work now here and corral that puck. And Real's now with the puck on their stick. They have had no offensive action here so far in the second frame as Alex Van Dines works that one free and tight and a save made as this goaltender standing strong there is Howarth. And Howarth holds on for that play and here's a chance going the other way. Hines walks in and plays that one by the net. Hard hit there and the skirmish for the puck continues. Rouse picked that up. Davis now back across. Shot through track by Keating and that won't go. Sutherland walks into the zone. A nice toe drag there by Clark to stay on side. Clark scooping it up behind the net with Sutherland. Leaving back to Sutherland, now back to the point. And that hit a couple of sticks there, bouncing puck. Sutherland got his stick on it. Behind the net, Wood pinching in. He'll scoop that one up, play it right around behind. And Sutherland got caught in a bad change there for the Twisters. 
And it's going to get iced all the way down by the Reals, and it will have enough. 16.46 on the clock. Shots tied it up at nine apiece. It's the Twisters leading the St. Boniface Reals by a score of 2 nothing. Off the draw. Played around behind the net. Real still working with it. Quick shot, and that's just why by the Pembroke Valley Twisters. Wood plays it right back in. Puck around behind the net. Smith out of his reach. Played right in, and that skips up off the stick of Howarth and out of play. Bring us a stoppage in play here at 16.27 on the clock. And what has been an all Twister second period, minus that little rush from St. Boniface. As they're ready to go here again, Xander Carroll's in on the draw. And he'll beat Ben will slip on the draw. Working around at the point. Round behind the net. Carroll's now trying to work it in front. Twister's on the near side with the puck on their stick. And that gets picked off now. And getting it out of the zone. And here comes Davis and his crew to Smith. And... Great play there to get it out of the zone and a hard hit. Davis controlling with that puck, but it's going to come all the way back to his own blue line where Hyra will pick it up and deflect it in. Picked off by Hepner. Hepner now going through traffic. Walks into the zone, playing with the backhand, and that's off the end boards. Real's on the near side trying to get it out. Picked up by Guilford and... A little bit of miscommunication there by the traffic, and Smith got caught in between, and it's an icing charge against the Pembroke Valley Twisters here. As we're four and a half into the second period, shots in the second period, two for the Pembroke Valley Twisters, one for the St. Boniface Reals. No difference here on the scoring. As the Twisters getting right here to tag up, Xander Carroll's coming all the way down the ice and in on the draw. St. Boniface plays it in behind the net. Vitelli, he'll work it back. A slip, he'll play it across. And back in up, he'll play it right back in to the zone from the point. Not much of a setup there going for St. Boniface. That's back in up. He'll work that across. Slobber's in. And he'll try and center that one. And that's picked off by the Twisters. Vitelli now knocked the puck off his stick. And Crossland's right there. Slobber's end. He'll send that across to the other side of the ice. Giving chase where it'll be picked up by Jonathan Dick. And he'll play it across. To Hepner. Hepner long stretch pass off the stick of Xander Carroll's into the zone. And tired Twisters go, all go for a change as Hepner stays out there. Pressuring the captain there of Davis. Of the Reals. And a misplay there by the Pennant Valley Twisters as Hepner comes back to help out. And we got a penalty coming here as a boarding call. And Twisters get their fifth power play of the night. And I'll be coming your way here shortly. Twisters power play tonight, 25%. And, oh, sorry, there's the hit. And I missed that there on the replay. So I, uh, sorry, that's my bad there. I pressed the wrong button. And I'm just looking here for the number. It's going to be Davis. So Connor Davis to the box for the two minutes on the boarding. Off the draw, Van Dines. He'll play it down low to Bergman. Bergman working it down low. Trying to play it back to the point for Van Dines. He'll wait to Bergman all cross ice. And Van Dines makes a nice play there to keep the puck in the zone. Look to Bergman. Bergman across to Van Dines. Van Dines waits, fires through traffic. Rebound loose in front, jamming at it. Howarth down, puck still loose. And now the referee comes in and blows the whistle as that puck ends up in the net. But, of course, the whistle was well before it. And we got a stoppage in play here. So some quick action there. And Howarth, though, standing strong.
as the Twisters and the Reals now ready to go again here. Linesman got the puck now in. Play resumes off the draw. Reals in the defensive zone, work it all the way around. They can't get it out. Nice play by Russell to hold it. Russell, he comes in down low, and he'll play it to the goal line. Now back to the grave. Puck across to Jacob Carrolls, and that gets deflected by Vitelli. Back to Jacob Carrolls at the point. Across to the grave, to grave to Carrolls. Carrolls to the grave. The grave down low. Knocked off the stick of Weeb. A nice play there by Alsep. And now picked up by the Twisters across to Grave. To Carroll's shot through traffic save made on that one. Rebound. Puck still loose. Twisters pick it up. 54 seconds remaining on the man bench. Across to Russell. And Russell, he'll play that down low. Loose puck. And that gets cleared all the way down by Bershinsky. Picked up by hands behind the net. Still working with it. Here on the near side. Coming in comes Bergman, and that gets blocked there. And the Twisters get called on the offside at 12.47. 19 seconds remaining on the man advantage. Twisters changing their lines up here. Bergman skating in on the draw. And McNaughton beats him on that one. Reals, they'll send that into the zone. Picked off by the Twisters, and the Twisters try and get it out of the zone. Keaton comes back to pick it off. And Keaton sends that all the way down the ice. And that will do it for the man advantage. Back to even strength as the Reals captain back on the ice. Long stretch pass and Poet into his skates. He's able to work it ahead and Bergman plays it into the zone. 12.15 on the clock as Clark plays it to Poet. Tic-tac-toe and glove down now by Clark and into the zone. Poet, he'll work it to Hepner. Hepner through traffic. Howarth holds on, or Howarth kicks into the corner. And that puck comes all the way down the ice. Icing waved off by the linesman. Hepner picks it up. He'll work it across. And right back on the near side for Hepner. Trying to work it on the near side. Renville plays it down low. Dangerous play in front. And Cohen Thomas corralling the puck. Trying to work it out of the defensive zone. He gets on a little bit of a tangle up with Vitelli. A puck comes out of the zone. Ben Slip plays it in. And Brzezinski, sorry, that's Nielsen there. Can't hold on to it. And Nate Hines picks it up. A two-on-one for the Reals. And a nice play breaking that up. Dick stayed with his man the whole time. Reals in the attack zone. Trying to set something up. Hines, quick shot. Save made. Loose puck in front. And the Twisters are able to clear it all the way down. Off the stick of Slaverson and... They're still going to call an icing. And I might have been wrong. I thought Noah Slobberzan hit that, and I thought that made contact with it. But I guess I was wrong. We got a penalty coming here after the play. Let's see if we can catch it here on the replay. We got nothing there to show you, but it. Yeah, we're possibly Aaron Nielsen going to the box. And it looks like it'll be Nate Hines. Nate Hines will come into the penalty box, 10.55. He skates into the box. There's no penalty on the board, though. So I'm guessing he just got, because the Twisters worked that across. And, oh, and now it is on the board there, a minute 55. We'll wait for the call. So Twisters went for five on the power play. Power play number six of the night for them. And Howarth holds on as the puck comes right to him off the draw. Ten 
10.47 on the clock. Shots are 12 to 10 in favor of the Pan Valley Twisters. And they have their sixth power play. Across now to Carroll's. Carroll's plays it down low to Weeb. Weeb back to Jacob Carroll's. Cross for Weeb. Playing it down low, and the Twisters couldn't connect on that one. Long stretch pass, and that one picked up and knocked off of Davis's stick. Good work there by the Twisters, trying not to give one up shorthanded as DeGrave walks into the zone with the puck on his stick, and he'll play it around behind the net. Howarth trying to work it out of the zone, and DeGrave, he'll work it across. Russell plays it in behind the net. DeGrave. And he'll get checked off the puck, and that puck comes out of the zone. Jacob Carroll's, he'll work it around to DeGrave. DeGrave had to leave that one as it was offside. And that gets cleared into the zone. Good penalty kill out here for the Reals, as they haven't changed after giving up that power play goal on their second. Twisters now. Working around all the way to Van Dynes as they slowed it down a bit. That's picked up by Ty McNaughton. Here comes Ty McNaughton with speed. They're into the zone all alone. Backhand and holding on for the save there. Couldn't get much on that shot, and he just puts that against Enz's pad. 26 seconds remaining on the man advantage. Vitelli, he'll play it into the zone. Get around the referee, and a nice play there to get it up to Alex Van Dyne's. Was Enz again, the Twisters waiting there on that puck, and now Gertson picks it up with 10 Seconds left on the man advantage. He'll leave it back to Bergman. Bergman to the point for Hepner. Hepner plays across. Shot through trap for the Twisters. Loose in front. And nothing going. And the Reals will kill off their fourth consecutive penalty. Behind the net. Taking out. It's Brzezinski. He'll play it back. Renville. He'll work that one all around. And Keating trying to get it out. Chopped up there by Raleigh Gertson. And... Over the stick of Renville, walking in comes Gertzen. Gertzen, backhand, in front, and Haworth with a save, rebound, and another save by Haworth. Two quick opportunities there for the Twisters, and they can't solve the Real's netminder. Twisters continuing with the pressure here in the offensive zone in the back half of this middle frame. As the Twisters play that in, skipped off a couple sticks. And all the way down the ice. Picked up by Dick, and he'll play it back. Twisters again, misplaying that one as that one got right underneath Hepner's stick. And Cohen Thomas kicks it up to himself. Into the zone comes Josh Guilford, and Keating now. Pressuring Guilford. Keating with the puck on his stick as he'll work around from out behind the net. And long stretch pass, and walking in comes Brzezinski. Going through traffic, back and forehand, and holding on is Zenz, and we'll bring a stoppage in play. And there's a look at the replay. And with that, I'd like to give a shout out to Shmoo, watching in London, Ontario. And we thank you for our viewers from all around Canada and around the world. Tuning in to watch this MMJHL hockey. Off the draw, Reals trying to just set something up here, like I said, in the attack zone and had opportunity for a bit. Twisters picked that one off and Weeb dodges the hit. Bring it back to Carroll's. Carroll's waits and fires that one in on that pad save. Didn't get much of a shot on it. As Van Dyne's is, is able to hold the zone. I don't know about that. The linesman said he did as giving chase there is DeGrave. In around behind the net, Real's trying to take it out. Seven minutes left on the clock now. Glove down and controlled by the Twisters. Back to Carroll's. Carroll's working it across. Quick shot through traffic and loose in front. Chalker took a hard hit. And holding on with traffic in front is Holworth. And Chalker gets up. We got some fists still flying as they're up in each other's face masks. 6.47 on the clock. Here's a look at that replay there. Are those opportunities there for the Twisters as it really gets, trying to get set up here in the attack zone. A great opportunities. There's a hard hit that Jalker took. And other than that, 
Ashton Holworth just staying with the play the whole time and is able to hold on for a whistle. Off the draw, Brial is controlling. Puck skips off off a skate and they're able to get it out of the zone, deflected in by Matt Smith. Smith now put the puck on his stick and he'll get pinned by Sutherland. And still working with it, Davis in to help out and Cole Davis knocks it free. Twister scoop it up. Bergman to Clark. Clark into the zone. Working through traffic backhand forehand and off the pad of the goaltender. Back to the point. And that shot gets blocked. Twister's able to hold it into the zone and Poet plays that ahead. Still working with it. Back to Wood. His shot through traffic deflected just wide. Twister's pick up the loose puck in the attack zone. Back to the point. Across to Wood. And off the stick of Bergman. Hira now trying to calm the storm here for the Reals. Long stretch past the Reals break that up off their own skate and the Twisters had to wait on delayed offside as Smith plays it in at the red line giving chase is Davis and ends plays that way from him all the way to Gertzen. Gertzen walks in, fires and, a and off the blocker of Howard then out of play as Logan Enns tried to get assist and think that would have been the first goaltender point of the postseason. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that stat. And they're arguing there with Sutherland and the draw as the real spot gets kicked out. Sutherland wins the draw back to Hepner. And they work that around to Sutherland. Sutherland down low, jamming at it. Save made on that one as he tried to put that high on the short side. Holding the zone is the Pemina Valley Twisters walking in. Gertzen, nice play. He got right back and he couldn't finish. Still working with it as the Twisters and the Twisters now comes out of the zone where Xander Carrolls will work it to Hepner. Hepner plays it into the zone all the way around. And that puck, quick shot there by Van Dines. And Howarth has the answer on that one. Hepner to pick it up and he'll turn that one over to Davis. Loose puck picked up by Alex Van Dines. He's the goal in tonight's game. Van Dines walking in. Waits plays it on the backhand just wide of the net. Gertzen, he'll fire it in. And the twister by the Reals work it out to Davis. Connor Davis into the zone. Around behind the net. 420 on the clock. Quick shot there. And a save made by ends point blank. Reals, they'll work it in down low. Nate Hines into the slot. Back to the point. Brzezinski, he'll play it in. As the Reals get the, some of their best opportunities here of the frame as they're really and they're keeping the pressure and that gets iced by the Twisters. So here's a quick look at that opportunity by the Twisters there. I didn't see Gertzen keeping it in the zone and on the tic-tac-toe, Gertzen just can't finish that one off. And with that, the shots this period for the Pan Valley Twisters, a total of 10. Meanwhile, six for the Reals. Off the draw and they'll continue down low and the Reals with a great opportunity there to the backhand holding it on. And that's off the arm of ends through traffic and a big block there is Josh Guilford and he looks a little bit sore as he's hobbling around. Deflected just wide by Ty McNaughton and he's one of those, he like said, top six scorers on the ice along with Darren Nielsen. And he'll put that through traffic as both those men have six points in the postseason. And I'll step, he'll play that just wide of the net. And working it back to the point. Shot through traffic and that one again getting blocked. Rial's holding it here in the attack zone. And the Twisters, tired out there as they're getting out skated. I'll slip back at the point. I'll slip trying to work it to Nate Hines in around behind the net. And Nielsen knocked off the puck. And he gets knocked down again. A couple big hits there. Sam will slip with the puck. Working it down low and he gets knocked off. 
Nielsen, he'll work it across. Back and up, his shot in on net. Save made and the twisters. Ice it all the way down again. It's gonna be an icing at 225, 224 as it took the linesman a little bit there to call it. So the Real stepping it up here in these final five minutes of the second frame. Shot 17 of 15 in favor of the Twisters, leading two nothing. And Slobber's at, and he'll get it right back. Quick shot there on net, save made by Enns. And the Twisters got a tired group out there, a very long shift for them. Following the double icing and trying not to take any penalties as they work in the defensive zone. And they clear it down again. And icing waved and Bernard's right away calling for the change, trying to get some fresh skaters out there. Russell Hill working around trot. Quick shot on net. And that gets not through the trap. Twisters can't clear it out. Broken stick went flying. And that's an unfortunate play there. Meanwhile, Jalker takes it the other way. Blocker save on his opportunity. And Wood, he'll play it in around behind the net. For the grave. 80 seconds on the clock. Reals stopping, waiting, getting some space and time, and the grave trying to break that one up along with Weeb. And that gets picked off by Jalker. Jalker fires and quick reflections there by Ho Worth, and that just misses the net by Jalker as we're into the final minute here of the middle frame. Jalker, quick shot on the net, and he hit the side of the net on that one. A little bit too fine to Russell. Russell, his shot through net, that gets deflected wide. We plays it in front. Jolliker couldn't see it through the traffic to get a stick on it. Still jamming it, and the Reals are able to clear it all the way down, icing waved. 35 seconds remaining on the clock as Kalen Russell takes it out from his own zone, tipped in by Merrick DeGrave, and he'll head for a change. And the attack zone now for the Twisters, picked off by Baggy Nuck, and Backing up into the zone through traffic and off a couple sticks and off the side of the net and around behind the net. 15 seconds on the clock. Hepner in his own zone. And long stretch pass comes all the way down and it's going to be an icing at 6.7 seconds. And here's a look here at that opportunity here for the Reals trying to work it back to the point. And just an unfortunate broken stick that went flying back into the timekeeper's box and it led Jalker down the other ice, down to the other end of the ice on that breakaway opportunity. And Howarth had the answer. Quick shot at and save made, rebound jamming at it. And ends holding on as the clock hits double zeros. And we will stay right where we left off from the last intermission. It is two nothing Pemina Valley after 40. Shots tied up at 18 apiece. That means Twisters, 11 shots in that second frame. 10 for the Reals, and I think they're going to add some time to the clock, and they are. They added a full second. And, of course, St. Boniface is going to pull their goaltender as it's impossible to fire it all the way down the ice in that amount of time here. Going for the extra man, trying to get a quick shot past ends. Easy doable with that much time, and there's not much there. Davis and Clark going after it, and we got a fight going here. And you saw that Davis went nothing after it, and see knocks Clark's helmet off there, and Hines, this is as Clark goes to pick up his bucket, and that will bring the end of the inter of the period here. Shots are 2 nothing here. Or sorry, score is 2 nothing after two. And Clark having some chatter here with the opposing fans as he's the first twister off the ice. Shot totals. As we said, 11 for the Penn Valley Twisters, 10 for the Reals. Both teams not up at 18 shots after 40 minutes of play. And with that, we'll have a quick look at the out-of-town scoreboard here in this one.
come and discover the warmth and hospitality of Mort. And here's that update for you. Uh, sorry there. Flipping to the wrong screen there for a second. Three unanswered goals by the St. James Canucks. That's 3-1. And second period just about to begin in that one. And they're out shooting the Hawks by a score of 16-10. That is the low another game. Another semifinals. And with that, we'll take a quick look here at the season series in this one. Game four, if you want to watch that, that'll be on the G-Show's channel. I'll try and do some games with him. I won't be with him for that game. But if you want to watch game four of this series, that's April 1st at 8 p.m. in St. Boniface. You can also be there live in person at the Southdale Arena. And with that, game five, six, and seven. We'll see you back here for game five, if need be, on April 3rd at 8 p.m. With that, we'll head to a commercial break. I'm your host, Billy Brown, along with my cameraman, Josh Keck. Come and discover the warmth and hospitality of Morris, home of the thrilling Manitoba Stampede. Nestled as the central hub on Highway 75, Morris is more than a town. It's a thriving nexus of business and community with new industrial opportunities ready to break ground. Join us and make Morris your next investment. I mean, I didn't think like... A co-op is not a building. It's not a gas bar, a home center, or a food store. A co-op is a group of people working together to help each other. To feed, to fuel, to build community. This is where we work. This is where we live. This is who we are. We are early risers, we are trusted neighbors, we are committed to serving you. We are Co-op. Paul Brandt Trucking, a chance meeting years ago that turned into an incredible friendship. Turns out we have the same name. Now that's something that doesn't happen every day. But as I've had the opportunity to work with this exceptional award-winning company, I've come to understand that there is something that happens every day with Morris Manitoba's Paul Brandt Trucking. They deliver quality. Paul Brandt Trucking has helped me to do business better. My trucking company of choice since they first appeared in the Convoy video, their world-class fleet and personnel literally keep the show on the road delivering our gear and stage production each and every night. Congratulations, Paul Brandt Trucking, on 50 years of traditional values, modern methods, and for service with excellence on every single run. We'll catch you on the flip-flop. Bye-bye. Saving for your child's education doesn't need to be stressful. Access offers a wide range of investment options to help you and your family's future, like a registered education savings plan. With the flexibility to deposit any time throughout the year, you decide when and how much to contribute, making it easy to save for your child's education. Contact us today to start your savings plan so you can spend more time celebrating your child's future. Access Credit Union, where you need us to be.
And we get ready to go here for the start of the third period in this one. And we got the Reals. They got a power play to start the period off. So those penalties there that we saw with that pushing and shoving with Clark and along with Davis. And that was, make sure I got the right Davis here. I'm pretty sure that was Connor Davis. That was, so Connor Davis got two minutes for face masking Cody Clark. And now here's the Twisters and, now here's the Twisters and the Reals take the ice here. Clark is, gets directed there to the box. So he's gonna go, he's got the two minutes, or he got the double minor there. Uh, on the spearing. Meanwhile, Connor Davis, he's got the two minutes for the face masking, and with that, they'll have a two minute power play out of the quick math that creates there for the Reals, and the power play, not much going for the Reals, 0 for 1. And they're all ready to go here. Cole Davis in off the draw. Quickly went ahead to Sam Alsep. Alsep now with the back and played right back in by Aaron Nielsen. Working around. And that comes all the way down the ice for Keating. Keating now with the puck. Working it on the near side. And Hines into the zone. Makes a move past one guy and save made by that one. And loose in front ends jumping out and they score. The Reals back in this one. It's a 2-1 hockey game. So they get it done on the man advantage. And it is going to be the 22 of Cole Davis from Aaron Nielsen on the goal. And sorry that I didn't get, quite get your replay for you on that one. So Cole Davis with the goal and the assist to Aaron Nielsen. So that's a quick start. And of course, both men still in the box because they got a Go to the whistle. As Xander Carroll's walking in, firing, loose puck in front, jamming out, it's still loose. As we're now back to five on five hockey. Smith trying to work that cross through traffic, and that comes all the way down. As Davis fighting out there with Dick. And now back to the point for Keating. His shot through traffic ends with the save on that opportunity. So a quick. Start here to the opening minute of hockey here for the Reals of the third period. And Davis again fires that in on net around behind. And Cohen Thomas now working it up on the near side. He'll put that one into the zone and that puck comes all the way down the ice. Guilford working with it. Still jamming it down low. Russell plays it across. Guilford. He gets tangled up with Renville. So that loose puck picked up now here by Ty McNaughton. And missing Smith, that comes all the way down. It's going to be an ice. So I had Nate Hines with the assist. 18-17, so 17 seconds remaining before the next whistle, and the men can be freed from the box there. As Van Dyne's quick shot there by the Twister is loose in front, and that won't go for them. And getting a little, with a little bit of the spear there, Sutherland, as that puck comes around behind the net. Long stretch pass. Ty McNaughton into the zone. Fires. Wide off the mark, loose puck jamming at it. And the Reals just missed the net there on that opportunity. 
Real, stay on low. Work around to Sutherland. Sutherland behind the net. And Smith couldn't connect on that one. That comes all the way down the ice and in on net. So the icing waved off as both teams completing changes. McNaughton into the zone. Isidro flux it ahead to Hines. Hines plays it in behind for Alex Van Dynes. Van Dynes scooping up that loose puck, working it on the near side. Picked up. Back in knock. He'll play that into the zone all the way around. Terry Nielsen. He'll center that one in. Back to now, quick shot, and just over the net. Loose puck comes right to the slot for Nielsen. Aaron Nielsen. And we talked about the big trade deadline pickup he was for this Reals team. And he's got them going here with the assist to start off this frame. Couldn't connect there in the slot, though. DeGrave able to play it in at the line. Jalker giving chase. He gets pinned. A slip picks the puck off from him. Still working on the far side. And trying to get it out. Walking in comes the Reals. Reals through traffic. Hines looking back, firing in tight on ends. Ends holds on for that one. And now here's the opportunity for Weeb going the other way. He puts on the brakes before putting it back in on the back end. And that gets cleared all the way into the twister zone. 16-19 and counting on the clock. Trot. He'll work that one back. Keating across. And in front, the Reals couldn't get a shot in on net on that one. Brzezinski, and that one's blocked, and here's a chance for Raleigh Gerson. Gerson coming in, Keaton chasing him down, and he fires that one just wide of the net. And staying with it is Gerson. The Twisters had to tag up at the line. Gerson again picking that one up. Now to Paulette, picked up by Real. Off a couple sticks there, still fighting with it. Brzezinski, and now gets work to trot via Renville. Renville holds it at the blue line. He plays that one in around behind the net. Samuel Slip, he'll work that to trot. Back to a slip. A slip behind the net. He gets knocked down on the puck and picking it up is Kyle Van Dyne. He'll work it to Riley Gertzen. Gertzen trying to work it out of the zone. Uh, and that gets cleared all the way in by the Twisters. And they're going to say they just had enough to wave off the icing. Picked up by Van Dynes. Van Dynes, and he'll turn that one over to Hines. Nate Hines, he's got to go with speed, but he can't get past Cohen Thomas as Thomas plays it into the zone. To Guilford. Guilford makes his way through traffic. Josh Guilford walking in. Puts it across the Twister score. What a goal and what a play by Josh Guilford to find up front. And he found Cody Clark. Or correction there. That's going to be Brett Bergman with at the back of the net. 15.05 on the clock as Cody Clark comes out of the box. And here's the setup by Josh Guilford on a beautiful setup. And he'll get it across to Bergman. And the Twisters restore their two-goal lead. It's Brett Bergman from Josh Guilford. Real's in behind their own net. Trying to work it over the defensive zone. Does it work on the far side? Ty McNaughton into the zone. He walks in with speed. Puts on the brakes. Back to the point. Cross for a slip. His shot just wide of the net. And there's a shot on net, and that one won't go. Working with it across to a slip. And that gets deflected just wide. A slip pointing that one in. Picked off now by Guilford. Guilford jamming at it. And he'll work that one ahead. Cohen Thomas going to hold on to that one. On the near side. Hines into the zone. And that hits a couple bodies in front. Twister's trying to get it out. 14 minutes on the clock. And Dick picks that puck up. He'll send it all the way down the ice. Again, a hard rush there by Alex Van Dynes. Waves off the icing. As Gertzen plays it all the way off Russell sticking into the zone. Southern giving chase, Smith. And he'll get outworked by Gertzen and into the zone. Now comes Renville, Renville into the attack zone with Davis. Working around to Samuel Slip. He'll play around behind the net, intercepted by a twister. And the twisters are able to just get it out of the zone. 
and get some relief for a bit as Davis walks in, fires that one, deflected in and off the ceiling, bringing a stoppage in play. 13, 24 on the clock. Shots are 22, 21 in favor of the St. Boniface Reals. It's the Pena Valley Twisters leading 3-1. On a recent goal, his second of the playoffs by number nine, Brett Bergman for the Pembroke Valley Twisters. Off the draw. Twisters working it on the near side. That gets played back in the Reals. Center that one, and no one can pick that one up. Jolker now getting it out of the zone, trying to play it ahead forward. As Reals are able to hold the zone, Twisters around behind the net. And they'll clear that one all the way down the ice. Real's working across. Bakinaki will put that in off the stick of trot. And a long stretch pass deflected off a of twister. Twisters delayed offside. Jolker has to get back along with the grave as Weeb comes in to get pressure. And Jolker knocks Banaka off the puck. And in comes Van Dines. Van Dines looking back. Plays around behind for Jolker. Through traffic. And the Reals now. Vitali calming it down. His team had some life early on with the power play goal, but now back down by two as Weeb's able to hold it into the zone. And the Reals now digging it out on the near side. Brashinsky through traffic. And he'll play that in on the back end. Behind the net where the Twisters will pick it up. 12 minutes on the clock. Still digging at that loose puck. And Clark holding McNaughton. And eventually comes loose. A nice play there by Mike Kepner, and he'll work it to Bergman on the near side. Puck trying to get to Hira, and it quite won't get to his stick. Comes to all the way down the ice. Hines giving chase. Hines, pick it, Hines picks that one up. Hines to work it out of the defensive zone. Long stretch pass played in by McNaughton and McNaughton now he'll get knocked off the puck to Russell. Russell. And he'll play it up on the near side. Bouncing puck. Controlled now by Clark and he'll get it out of the zone for a bit. Aaron Nielsen picks it up as he walks in. Nielsen walking in. Firing on net. And hold, trying to hold on. Puck loose. Jamming at it. It's in the net. And the Reals I think have scored. There's not a single from the referee. And I think it's a goal. And it will be. It's Ty McNaughton, who will be tied for first in points with Aaron Nielsen. Both right there, and you can't really see it there from the right play. He's a little bit late to that. So the goal scoring has come alive here in the third. Ty McNaughton with the goal and the assist on that one, Aaron Nielsen. His second assist of the game. We got a 3-2 hockey game. As Hira plays it into the zone, 11-10. On the clock, so time of that goal was 9-50. It was 8-50. Off the draw. And Russell, he'll send that all the way in on net. And Howarth will hold on for a whistle. At 10-53 shots here in the third period. Six for the, the St. Boniface Reals. Three for the Pema Valley Twisters. And off the draw. Working with it, and that gets blocked. As the Reals take it out of their own zone to trot. Trying to work it up on the near side. And Sutherland gets his glove on that one, and that'll be waved off there. And... Working it on the near side through traffic comes the Reals, and they play it into the zone. And add Nate Hines on that assist. There, so that's also his the second assist of the game. Working it through traffic, Southern plays it in on net just wide. And still working with it. Player down there on the net, jamming at it. Club down by Keaton. Keaton now working it on the near side. Keaton, he'll play it ahead. And Connor Davis plays that into the zone. Ends goes out to play it around behind his own net. Working it up on the near side. Holding the zone there is Keaton. 
And Keaton will work around off the stick of Van Dines. A couple of Reals jamming at that puck loose. Still bouncing. Picked up on the near side. And by Alex Van Dines. All the way down the ice. Holworth now. He'll leave it back. To Brzezinski. Brzezinski, he'll pull it across. And that comes all the way down to Hepner. Hepner now, or Nielsen plays it in. As we're into the back half here of the third period. Puck comes all the way out of the zone. Keating out through traffic. And he'll get rubbed out. And trying to play that ahead is DeGrave. And that gets played out of play. That brings a stoppage in play at 9-11 on the clock. And we got an update for you. Cohen Thomas has an assist. So Cohen Thomas has an assist there on that last Twister's goal. There's an update for you. Hines quick shot and that doesn't get all the way through just wide of the net and back enough he'll play that across and get it right back on his stick off the stick of Hines into the zone still working with it to grave across to Weeb Weeb through traffic I'll step he'll work that across and he gets clipped with a high stick and it'll be power play number three coming your way shortly for the St. Boniface Reals unless they score in this rush here Quick shot in on the net, and that won't go. Nielsen, he'll play it back. As they sent the extra attacker out there on the delayed call, and now that'll be touched by DeGrave, and they'll blow it dead. And Jocker getting into it there is Brzezinski. Was right in his face there at the whistle. Here's a quick look at the replay. As gets worked up there by Derek Weeb, and there's Jalker Clips. Can't exactly who that was on the Reals, but he clipped him easily with a high stick. So, power play number three of the night for St. Boniface. They're 0 for 2 on the night, and trying to change their fortunes on that. Around a great opportunity for them, down by one here. Late in the third period, loose in front, and they could have found the back of the neck. He did now. He'll work it back down low. And Jamie I down lows, trying to find someone there was Davis, and that gets worked all the way around down the ice. Keaton giving chase. Xander Carroll's as well with him. And that one gets picked up and going through traffic here. Still working with it. Here comes Davis. Davis with the puck on his stick. He'll work on the near side till Sip. Sam will step into the zone. And he gets taken down. Still jamming at that loose puck. Comes onto the stick of Cody Clark and Brett Bergman. Or, friction that gets cleared all the way down by Poet. On the far side, Nate Hines coming into the zone. Penalty, power play halfway gone. And the Twisters might have gone away with one there. As Hines hit the ice, continuing to play the puck around behind the net. I'll get work to Brzezinski. He'll play it back to the point. I'll slip. He'll kick it to himself from Nielsen. Down low. Circling around. Ty McNaughton back to the point. There's a shot deflected just wide of the net by Brzezinski to Nielsen. Nielsen working around, and he'll play that one in as he hits the ice. And Hepner sends it all the way down. 25 seconds remaining on the man advantage. Aston Howard, long stretch pass and sliding to stay on side. Buzz Bashinsky as the Twisters play it right back in. Weeb pinned with his man against the boards behind the net as coming out with the puck here on the near side, skating ahead. Comes the 18 of El Slip. And he'll play around behind and off the side of the netting, and that won't go. Still working with it as we are back to even strength here in this one. Nothing going on the third power play of the night for the Reals. Through traffic, and Nielsen can't get any farther than that. 
Joliker, big hit at center ice. And it's a penalty coming on that. I think they got him on a charge. I, I don't know what else it would be. Let's take a look at the replay. We'll just wait to see what the referee has to call. And they're talking there with Paul McCart, and he's going to give them a rough. And I'll make sure it's to Joliker. Here's a look at the replay of that. And as we wait here for the play to develop, here comes right center ice, and there's the hit by Joliker. And the Twisters can't be too happy with that, especially being called the rough. Yeah. So St. Boniface will call their timeout. The 30-second timeout has been called here. And as they come out of the as they come out of the timeout here ends uh, waits here for his draw coming to his right. Sander Carroll's out there for the penalty killers as he gets ready to take on Aaron Nielsen in the draw. Connor Davis out there well for the Reals. And back to Nuck Hill played around behind the net. Back to Nate Hines. Across. And back in that gets it offside. He couldn't hold on to it as he plays it ahead to Nielsen. And the Twisters were quick to jump on that one. And the linesman, nevertheless, had already saw it. So the Twisters quick change up here as Cohen Thomas and Xander Kale skate off the ice. Cody Clark sets in for the draw. And Nielsen beats him on that one. Hines works it up. And he'll send that into the zone, picked up by Jacob Carrolls. Carrolls working it around and blowing a tire there was Hines as that puck in return comes all the way around to Ashton Holworth. Real's behind their own net. 5.30 on the clock, down by one. On the near side, Hines walking in. He'll play it across and the Twisters cleared all the way down the ice. Holworth dangerously playing that one off his blade. And Dylan Bakunak out of his zone. They'll work it back to Brzezinski and off the stick of Aaron Nielsen walking in. And that gets picked off by the Twisters and the Twisters are able to clear that all the way down the ice. And Ashton Howarth, they'll work that one around. 48 seconds remaining on the man advantage here for the Reals. As they walk in, trying to improve their power play percentage as they're 0 for 3 so far in tonight's game. Can't hold it at the line. That comes all the way down. Brzezinski goes down to pick it up. And Brzezinski coming out from his own zone. As he walks in over the line through traffic. Quick shot. And blocker saved by that one as ends. Sends it all the way down to Cohen Thomas. Cohen Thomas through traffic. Walking in. And he's going to draw a penalty. Both referees' hands go up. And the Twister's not working it here. And they play it back. And so the penalty has expired. And Brzezinski gloves that down and throws the puck at Cohen Thomas. And that'll be a little bit of a stir up there. A little bit of frustration coming from the 89 as there's a hook coming. Pretty easy call as you saw Cohen Thomas charging down, trying to get something done shorthanded, and he just gets brought down. He couldn't even get a shot away. And depending on how you want to say that, that like I said, not that I'm expecting them to call penalty shots here, that had everything, all the criteria for it. Twister's controlling here on the man advantage. Back to the point. Across to Carroll's. Back to Russell to Carroll's. Jacob Carroll's. 
Fish shot through traffic and that gets blocked. And that gets cleared all the way down the ice. Nice play there by Dylan Backnuck and Jacob Carroll's long stretch pass. DeGrave walking into the zone. Around to Weeb. 3.20 on the clock. Weeb with the puck on his stick. He'll work it back. And across to Jacob Carroll's. Carroll's through traffic. And that doesn't make it through. Back to Carroll's. And he'll turn that one over. Hunt or Vitelli. He'll get stopped in his tracks by Merrick DeGrave. Carroll's he'll play it back. 58 seconds remaining here on the power play. As the Twister's working on it on the near side, one for, set, one for six tonight. Jamming down low, picked up by DeGrave. DeGrave still waiting with it. He'll play it back to Hepner. Hepner to Russell all the way across. Quick shot through traffic and that won't make it its way on net. And here comes a chance, Ty McNaughton through traffic. And he'll get rubbed out by Russell, but continue on with the puck and work it to the blue line. But that skips by and all the way down the ice. As you'll be watching to see when Ashton Holworth will leave the net. As five seconds remaining on the man advantage, which didn't spare much for the twisters as Neil had a opportunity there trying to poke that one free as the penalty has expired. Broken up by Hines and into the zone. Now here comes Bergman. Brett Bergman circling. He's the latest Twister's goal and he didn't have enough on that one to make the pass and Nielsen plays it in. And Nielsen's getting called, or sorry, Howarth is getting called to the bench. And he waited though as he watches the play dangerously. 89 seconds on the clock. Across to Nielsen, Howarth still halfway. He hasn't gone yet, and now he makes his decision to go. Six attackers for the Reals. 75 seconds on the clock. Nielsen is shot. It lifts in front, ends down, and just wide of the net. And try it again here as Nielsen plays it across, and Ty McNaughton couldn't get a shot away as we're into the final minute here in game number three. Reals down by one. Aaron Nielsen looking. He'll play it across to Dunn and right back now from Bernard across to Hines. There's a quick shot through traffic. And that's picked up by the, the Reals. The Reals played across to Hines. Hines is shot through traffic. Ends down, puck loose, jamming at it. And that puck skips up into the netting. Bring a stoppage in play at 32.6 seconds. And you'll have to guess the Reals are going to call their time out here. And here's a look there at that opportunity there. And not much going there ends. It's just staying strong. Empty net still pulling. Well, call that a correction there. I just did forget they did call their timeout already. I thought that was the Twisters, but no, that was, I think, St. Boniface. As they're working around back, 24 seconds on the clock. Nielsen, he'll turn that one almost over. Keating saved it for them for a second. That's Keating now. He'll play it into the zone. As he tries to get in, now he will through traffic. He gets called offside with 10.5 seconds. And the Twisters get a big sigh of relief with that one. As the packed house here starting to come to their feet. 10.5 seconds on the clock. Shots 24 21. Sorry, 29 21. In favor of the Reals. Brzezinski in on the draw. And winning that one's Merrick DeGrave. And the Twisters played into the zone off the glove of Hines. And Brzezinski. Kill played up off the stick of Brzezinski and there goes the horn. That will do it, Brzezinski and Van Dines going out a little bit. It's the Twisters taking game three here as the physical altercations continue on by a score of three to two. Is their final, final shots in the period. Three for the Pemina Valley Twisters, giving them a total of 21. Meanwhile, 11 shots for the St. Boniface Reals, giving them a 
A total of 29, so even though the Twisters get outshot in that period, again, they hold on for the win. And now they are one game away from advancing to the finals. Meanwhile, the Reals will have to find a new game plan as they head home for game number four, and that is April 1st at 8 p.m. at Southdale Arena. And with that, we'll head to your three stars of tonight's game. And this one, and your three stars in tonight's hockey game. Starting it off, man who's round blocking shots and got rewarded as well with the goal, your third star in this one. With one goal in tonight's game from the Penn Valley Twisters, number 21, Alex Van Dines. Your second star in tonight's hockey game. And this one from the St. Boniface. Rials hit a great night. Couldn't find anything going, though, at the end for his team. Gave them plenty of opportunities. Ended the night off with two assists. Number 88, Aaron Nielsen. And your first star in tonight's game. But the game winning goal in this one. A hard worker, and he worked hard there throughout this one, creating opportunities. He got rewarded at the end. Your first star from the Penn Valley Twisters, number nine, with one goal in tonight's game, Brett Bergman. And with that, we'll take a quick look at the rest of the playoffs before we go and like I said game number three uh, or sorry game number four there is out South Carolina at 8 p.m. on April 1st if you can't make that one you can watch that on the G Show's channel the G Show Productions and G Show Productions will be covering should be covering that game I think he's planning on two And an update as we talked about here. Of those playoffs here, our update in that Canucks Hawks game coming in here in a couple moments here. And that is a 4 1 game heading into the final period. And the Canucks, like I said, one game away, as you can see there, from advancing to the finals. With that, I'm your host, Bentley Brandt along with my cameraman, Josh Keck, signing off. And we'll see you next time, whether that be in the finals or whether that be here for game number five. See you soon. Happy Easter from the Penn Valley Twisters and everyone in the MMJHL. And we'll see you at the next.